This is Peter Nash again with part two of our video spotlight on assets within the Adobe Experience Manager 5.6. In part one, we looked at the new layout for the dam and how you could switch between the card view and the list view. Um, let's move on and take a look at modifying the properties of an asset as that is a little different. There are several different things that the asset has tied to it inside the dam known as properties. Um, these include the date it was created, tags, metadata, etc. There are a couple of ways to get in and edit these properties. If you are in the list view, then you can just go ahead and click the checkbox next to an asset and then click the view properties icon here at the top. If you are in the card view, switch there now, then what you can do is just put your mouse over uh, give an asset and then select the view properties icon located at the bottom of the card. Another option here in the card view is to switch to enter selection mode. So if I click that and then I can come through and select the asset that I want and then click the view properties icon here at the top. I'll just click that now. So now we have the properties view open to us and we can see what has already been set up on the asset, which frankly isn't that much. Some of the info you see here gets put in by default when you upload an asset to the dam. Obviously to edit, um, you are gonna click this big blue edit button here in the top right hand corner. And um, there are several fields that you'll see are empty um, items not filled out will not show up on the properties view, so don't worry about um, you know leaving things blank if you don't have anything to put in. Just add the properties that you do need. In this case, I think I'll just go ahead and uh, put in the title and description, and type in title one, and here is a description. Now. Um, in order to finish this off, uh, I would just go ahead and click the Done button here to save. Um, or if need be, I could click this Cancel button uh, to go back to the way it was before without actually saving anything. Uh, in this case, I'll just go ahead and click the uh, Done button now. Uh, for those of you who are saying, hey, this was easier the old way, uh, don't worry. Uh, you can switch uh, quickly to the original version of editing assets by clicking this monitor icon uh, that's here on the assets tab. When you do, it will open up um, the folder where the asset is located uh, and then you can just edit like you did before. In part three, we will cover some areas that I don't think are as friendly in the new system.